Welcome to iHnani.com. Computer Fundamentals Introduction to Computers Our intention is to make this tutorial useful and easy to understand by everyone, including even those people who have never touched a computer and also those who are computer literates. Agenda When you complete this course you should be familiar with What is a computer? Characteristics of computers History of the development of computers Generations of computers Before starting to know what is a computer, I would like to present you with some of the common types of devices that come to our mind when We say a computer This is a desktop computer Should be familiar to you I know you would have seen these these are larger machines designed to be used with a desk or a table. These are laptop computers more of a common sight in any computer store these days. They are small, you can carry them anywhere you want. A calculator. A punching machine. Now you should be wondering whether I am showing something by mistake, isn't it? But I am not. Even a calculator that you have been using since years, a punching machine. All these are different types of computers. You will understand this when you get to know more about computers. So, what is a computer? In simple terms, a computer is anything that transforms process information in a purposeful way. The term computer is derived from Latin word compute which means to calculate or to manipulate. It is meant to be inclusive of any device that is essentially controlled by a basic computer, CPU, program, etc. While a computer can, in theory, be made out of almost anything, not necessary that it should be a desktop or a laptop computers that you saw earlier. Mechanical examples of computers have existed through much of recorded human history. The first electronic computers were developed in the mid-20th century, sometime between 1940 to 1945. Originally, they were the size of a large room, consuming as much power as several hundred modern personal computers. Modern computers based on integrated circuits are billions of times more capable than the early machines, occupying a fraction of the space. Simple computers are small enough to fit into mobile devices, and can be powered by a small battery. In our daily life, we have been using a lot of computers. Calculator, MP3 player, washing machines, cars, planes. They are everywhere. The term computer is derived from Latin word compute which means to calculate or to manipulate. It is meant to be inclusive of any device that is essentially controlled by a basic computer, CPU, program, etc. This would include, therefore, modern telephones, VCRs, microwave ovens, CAT scanners, supermarket scanners, and the like. By definition, a computer is a programmable machine that receives input, stores and manipulates data, and provides output in a useful format. Characteristics of Computer By looking at the list of characteristics of a computer, we can understand them better. The characteristics I mention are not necessarily unique to computer technology. However, in many instances computers have created situations that were previously impossible to accomplish, such as space flight, were essentially inconceivable until the technology was applied, or at least were very difficult to achieve without the aid of computer technology. Furthermore, even though other technologies may have had impacts similar to computers in many ways, Computer technology has greatly amplified their effects to the point of entirely overshadowing any previous technology's impact. Speed The computer can process huge amount of data at a blink of an eye. Because of its speed, the computer has made many projects successful, 
which were earlier deemed impossible. Electricity travel at incredible speeds, so is the speed of a computer which is an electronic device. It processes the data and returns the output instantaneously. We do not talk in terms of seconds or even milliseconds, but in microseconds, millions, the nanoseconds, one thousandth of a microsecond, and these days even the picosecond that is one trillionth, or one millionth of one millionth of a second. A picosecond is to one second as one second is to 31,700 years. Accuracy A is a machine, a computer can do whatever it is programmed to do. Here accuracy means the correctness of the processed data. If the input data or the program is flawed, we get a flawed output. This is to say, that a computer does not do any processing on its own, but it depends on the programs or commands that has to be provided to the computer to get a desired output. This means Storage With the speed and accuracy of computer, we can process any and every data and get results. With this we have a huge amount of processed data. And the computer provides us with huge amount of space to store the same. In these days, we can carry a complete library in a storage device as small as a coin. Versatility In today's world, computers are used everywhere. As I mentioned earlier, we have come to a stage where in every move we make, Computers are doing our work in various forms. They are in use in every industry be it our home, office, hospital, transportation, education or you name it, we have computers working for us. Automation Gone are the days where we had to use some input device and enter the information into the computer. Computers today, need very little human interference. They have grown to a level where computers can interact between themselves automatically. We have come to a stage where computers can see us, listen to us and even react to our gestures. Diligence Being a machine, a computer does not suffer from the human traits of tiredness and lack of concentration. If a zillion calculations have to be performed, it will perform the last calculation with exactly the same accuracy and speed as the first. It can be used for months without being shut down. In the next video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 1, I will take you through the history of computers.